today's workout is for hamstrings, hamstrings and glutes. And these are stiff-legged deadlifts. And um, this is what I call top half version of stiff-legged deadlifts. And notice I'm keeping my back flat, my chin up, so I'm staying arched up. I'm not rounding my back at all. It's flat. And my arms are straight, and I'm just letting the bar hang. And I'm lifting from my glutes. I'm, I'm, I'm squeezing my glutes to lift the weight up. You'll feel a stretch in your hamstring on the way down and a contraction in your glutes at the top. You um, shouldn't feel the back of your knees. If you're feeling too much pressure in the back of your knees, you're trying to force the stretch down farther than you are flexible. So um, you don't really need to force that stretch. To me, the, the main focus of this is getting a little bit of the stretch in the hamstring, but pulling the weight up with your glutes. So you should, you should flex your glutes and get that squeeze at the top. Every time you come up, every single rep, you want to squeeze your glutes at the top. And I'm supersetting the deadlifts with 20 seconds of toe taps. As I get heavier with the deadlifts, I like to use straps. Straps help with your grip and allow you to go a little bit heavier so you're not worrying about your grip the whole time. So if you're looking to get stronger with these, you can use straps and um, they just put total focus on your glutes and hamstrings. Otherwise, as you get heavier, your grip kind of tends to wear out a little bit and it's hard to hold the weight and it distracts you. So the straps really help a lot. 150 heart rate. Okay, this is my second set of toe taps and the two days before this I had only gotten about four and a half hours sleep and was really tired and when I first started I was just um, slow. I'm still a little slow on this set but as I got into the workout my um, speed increased a little bit. These were really tough that day. 160. Okay, this is my third set and I'm increasing the weight to 85 pounds and I'm going to use my belt on this set since I'm getting a little bit heavier and I'm not a big fan of using a belt all the time. You see some people walking around with a belt on all the time. I think it's good to use it when you need it. Otherwise you need to allow your back to do some of the work and if you wear a belt all the time it won't get stronger but if you are trying to lift heavier and improve your lifts or to get bigger or to get stronger there comes a time where you do need a weightlifting belt and this is my third set a little bit heavier so um, I've used this weight before without a belt but since I was a little tired this day I thought it would be a good idea to put it on just to have some extra support. Okay, that was 85 pounds. I got 20 reps. Going on to toe taps. Um, third set of toe taps, 20 seconds. Starting to feel a little bit better. My speed's picking up a little bit. I'm starting to feel unstuck. I was feeling stuck at the beginning of this workout, tired and stuck. And I'm starting to feel better now. Whew. I'm actually starting to feel better now that I started working out. Okay, this is the fourth set, and I'm adding a little bit more weight. This is 105 pounds. This is my weightlifting belt. It says NPC Florida number one. I won this back in 90, 1991 when I won the um, Florida championships. 
I won my weight class and the overall and I also won mixed pairs so I just drug this out of the closet the other day pretty cool I kind of forgot that I had it and I want to kind of start lifting a little bit heavier again here and there so I thought it would be good to drag it out and use it when you're going a little bit heavier the belt gives you um, a little more support and it gives you also gives you something to push against when you're lifting heavy when you're pulling the weight up it gives your belly something to push against which in my opinion helps support your lower back I haven't really done the flat back version very much up until just recently so this will be the heaviest that I've gone this is 105 pounds the heaviest I've gone since I've been doing these and I used to years ago do the lower half um, bottom half stiff legged deadlifts which I've done in some of my other videos and I used to use 225 pounds for 8 reps and I used to use my belt all the time then so I just drug my belt out of the closet and wanted to start going heavier on these just to kind of see how much I could do on these and I got 15 reps with 105 <sighs> So we're going into fourth set of toe taps. This is my best set yet. You can see my speed's picked up. I'm feeling better, a lot better on these. And this is about the way I normally do them, sometimes maybe even a little bit faster, but um, I think this was a pretty good set. Today is a perfect example of when you feel tired and you don't feel like doing it if you just start. If you notice my toe taps on the last set compared to the first set, I'm starting to feel better so I could put more energy into it. I was just feeling really drained and tired on the first couple sets, but now I'm feeling a lot better. Okay, this is the fifth set adding a little bit more weight decided to add another 10 and a 5 to make it 135 pounds so that's equivalent to one of those big 45s on each side this bar here weighs 45 pounds and I have four tens and a five pound plate on each side so it's 135 pounds I've ever done with them. So 135 pounds times eight reps. Yay. I'm gonna skip my toe taps for the fifth set. And go over to leg curls. I have a client coming in in about 15 minutes. Next I'm moving on to leg curls and I'm gonna try Tabata style leg curls, which is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest for eight rounds. And with these leg curls, I'm staying propped up and um, using only my hamstrings. When you're propped up like this, it takes a lot of pressure off your lower back and keeps you from using your lower back and your glutes. And if you push your hips down into the pad and just pull up from your hamstrings, it's a lot harder so the weight that you that you use will be a lot lighter weight but it puts it more directly just right in the um, core of the hamstring really good focus exercise if you want to lift heavier on these um, which I do both I do a combination of this type if I want it more focused and direct and then if I want to lift heavier I um, go ahead and lay down on the pad and hold the handles at the bottom and um, can usually go a lot heavier that way. And this was the end of my workout. 
for hamstrings and glutes. And thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.